All right, guys, so let's look at multiband for some vocal processing and a couple of things that we can do to just help a vocal come to life a little bit. So what we're going to use today is Waves C4. I'm using this because it's a really accessible multiband compressor. It comes in a bunch of bundles. Uh, it's a good price point. Any multiband compressor will do most of the jobs that C4 here can do. Effectively, what a multiband compressor is, is a compressor split over a number of bands. Now, the C4 is multiband compression over four bands. There's also the wave C6, which as you would imagine, is split into six bands. Bands split the frequency spectrum into different spaces. And as we look at the plugin here, we can see we've got these different bits here. And we see these lines here, just going below the orange line, we've got these, these faded lines. Those are crossover points, and those are the band splits. This orange band here, for example, it doesn't end at this line, it curves off a little bit before and dips off to zero over here. This is much like the slope of an EQ. While having a crossover point, which is where this line here goes straight through, we've got an equal drop off either side. This means we don't lose any audio as it fades off slightly before those crossover points. Outside of that functionality, it's pretty much a copy of a compressor four times over. You find the huge controls of a threshold, attack, release, and gain. You also quite often find a range and this is going to be by how much it compresses overall rather than being set just by the threshold there's usually a, a compression range in terms of multiband so what this means is that we can focus in on certain areas so on c4 here for example if we look at this uh, purple section here which is going to be our third band in we can solo out just that band on the vocals here let's take the instrumental away So that means we can offer compression just on that area of the vocal. So let's have a listen to just this area. We can move our band around and see if we can find something that might warrant compression, uh, something like some sibilance that's maybe got through to this stage. There's a little bit of harshness in there, especially in the, some of those first words. Trying to talk the talk. Better back it, bro. Well, she better back down. Quit if you don't stack pounds. So what we'll do here is we'll dial off the threshold on all of the others, and we'll even dial back the threshold on here. What we'll do is unsolo it, listen to the vocal as a whole, and we'll dial a bit of compression in here. And I feel the attack is maybe a little bit quick here. I might want to slow this down, but we just want to bring some of that harshness away. We're trying to talk the talk. Better back it, bro. Well, she better back down. Quit if you don't stack pounds. I'm just speaking facts now. Assess what you chat about. All these trappers going ham. Chatting about I got you. So right here where we had uh, assess, I think it was. Quit if you don't stack pounds. I'm just speaking facts now. Assess what you chat about. All so there's quite a bit of harshness going on there. So let's solo this area out again. Quit if you don't stack pounds. I'm just speaking facts now. Assess what you chat about. Yeah, so it's a little bit higher up than we were. So somewhere between like the three and four K region. Quit if you don't stack pounds. I'm just speaking facts. There you go. We're now controlling that a lot better. Let's see if it's so harsh now. Quit if you don't stack pounds. I'm just speaking facts now. Assess what you chat about. All these traps. Cool. And where I thought the attack was maybe a bit quick, that actually seems to be okay. What we can maybe do is have the release more sort of around the 20 marker. Uh, we can dial it back a little bit further in terms of the threshold. Quit if you don't stack pounds. I'm just speaking facts now. Assess what you chat about. All so that's helping a little bit with the harshness. What we'll do, we'll have the uh, plugin in bypass and then we'll switch it back in on that loop and just focusing on those harsher phrases. Quit if you don't stack pounds. I'm just speaking facts now. Assess what you chat about. All these trappers going ham. Chatting about quit if you don't stack pounds. I'm just speaking facts now. Assess what you chat about. All these trappers going ham. Chatting about. See, now we're not losing anything really in the vocal, but the harshness is being taken away. Let's hear it in context of the whole track, shall we? Quit if you don't stack pounds. I'm just speaking facts now. Assess what you chat about. All these trappers going ham. Chatting about quit if you don't stack pounds. I'm just speaking facts now. Assess what you chat about. All these trappers going ham. Chatting about quit. Now that absolutely sounds better, just controlling those slightly harsher frequencies there. That's just a really simple thing we've done. We've de-essed all of the vocals that have come together and the processing that's happened on them just as a whole. And because it's working as a whole, it feels quite natural. Something else we can do is uh, control like 
the whole body of the vocal as well ever so slightly. Something we can do with multiband compression is we can do upward expansion as well. So we can kind of lift it up here, but have it compress at other times. So what we could do, for example, is solo this vocal section. We could lift up the whole middle section like this. Quit if you don't stack pounds, I'm just speaking facts now. Assess what you chat about. All these trappers going ham, chatting about quit if you don't stack. So we've given that an extra 3.4 dB of gain there. But we're going to bring the threshold down so that it compresses ever so slightly as well. Quit if you don't stack pounds. I'm just speaking facts now. Assess what you chat about. All these trappers going ham, chatting about quit if you don't stack pounds. I'm just speaking facts. So we've given the main body of the vocal a lift, so this section of it here. Quit if you don't stack pounds, I'm just speaking facts now, assess what you chat about, all these tracks. At its louder points, it's also bringing the level down when it needs to. So we've kept our full dynamic, really, and we've only really... So we've given the lower some gain overall, but brought it down in general. And this way, we don't have to bring up the volume of our DS section as well. And we don't have to compress all of it. So we're not bringing up our low end or the high end. We're adjusting the balance and just compressing the area of the vocal we want to stand out a little bit more in the mix. Now, this is a quite extreme example. So we'll probably push the balance of the track off, but we should be able to hear what's going on now. Quit if you don't stack pounds, I'm just speaking facts now. Assess what you chat about. All these trappers going ham, chatting about quit if you don't stack pounds. I'm just speaking facts now. Assess what you chat about. All these trappers going ham. Yeah, it's definitely giving us some more body to the vocal. Let me play back a longer section for you to really get an idea of that. So I'll have it off and then we'll enable it. That ain't rap. That's a fashion show, everybody bout it Are they really stacking dough, claim they're making pee Seems they're just chatting though, trying to talk the talk Better back it bro, or else you better back down Quit if you don't stack pounds, I'm just speaking facts now Assess what you chat about, that ain't rap That's a fashion show, everybody bout it Are they really stacking dough, claim they're making pee Seems they're just chatting though, trying to talk the talk Better back it bro, or else you better back down Quit if you don't stack pounds, I'm just speaking facts now Assess what you chat about, that ain't rap That's a fashion show, everybody bout it Are they really stacking dough, claim they make so hopefully there you can really hear the difference. There's a lot more body in the vocal. A little bit extreme. I'd maybe only go for like a, a decibel and a half from what I'm hearing there. But you get the idea of what you can do. So we've de-essed it and we've taken away some harshness and we've compressed just the body section of the vocal. We've not compressed our high end. That's been left largely untouched. Uh, and so has the low end, just the main section we want to. And that's one of the beautiful things we can do with multiband compression, especially when it comes to vocals. Whereas if we were to compress the whole vocal channel before we would then have to DS and snap everything away afterwards and we'd maybe bring up a low end and high end and meaning we need to EQ. This way we can just compress the sections we want, we can DS the areas we want all in one go. It's just nice and ergonomic and gives hopefully if you're doing it right a really transparent feel. Hope the tip was helpful for you guys and I hope you I wish you all the best on your vocal mixing in the future. See you on the next one.